and looks just what we were talking about yesterday. When you get given something for free, you have no respect for it. We were just talking yesterday about how much it costs all of us to provide these fine men and women of the city of Newport News these take home vehicles to do with it as they please. And this is how they treat them. So we're at the corner of Warwick Boulevard and Mitchville Road. And I've already done some pre-investigation. I've been here in a little while to get some real video. Uh, an officer Betts, B-E-T-T-S, the young white guy, uh, apparently has driven his vehicle, number 5631, take it out of the fleet, over this concrete embankment, and then crust the oil pan, and there's oil everywhere. Now, there's a corporal over here, in the middle car, still sitting there. And then it's Officer Goodnight, and it's still Officer Betts. And they're sitting here with their vehicle running. Oh, Officer Goodnight's a little perturbed. Oh well, don't drive your vehicle off a curb and you won't get hurt. Who's the sergeant on today? that? Who's the sergeant on today? Sergeant, there's not one today. The no sergeant today? The yeah. short staff must be up at the mall. No, he's a training. Oh. Now, will he be have his breath tested and tested for drugs as part of any sort of criminal investigation? Or will this be simply administrative? That's, that's going to be up to but it will be reported to internal affairs. Who's in charge of internal affairs these days? I keep trying to get a hold of this Sergeant Alexander that took over on uh, Lieutenant Harrison's phone line. He never answers the phone, he never returns uh, phone calls. Lieutenant Rogers. Lieutenant Rogers. I think that's the number I give was given for his supervisor and I don't think I heard back from him either. How long ago was that? Well, I've been trying to get a hold of that Sergeant Alexander since like last September when I found out that Hairston was gone. Uh, he hasn't called back about several things. You call that uh, 4100 number. That's all I can say. Oh, I, you, trust me. I call, uh, all, I call all the numbers. I know how the phone tree works. Yeah. 4300 through 4307 is, is a whole chunk. No sergeant on today. Let's say Tuesday, day after tax day. Mosh bets. Don't worry, somebody give you a ride home and there's they'll just give you another take home vehicle. out for the bus drivers around here too. They were crashing into each other a couple few months ago. They crashed into each other at an intersection. One of the buses drove up in somebody's house. But when you give somebody something for free, they have no respect for it. That's no big deal. And Officer Betts will keep his job starting at $52,000 a year. Hybrid all-wheel drive. Oh, that's an expensive one too. Dang. He yeah, had one of the newest of the news. Don't worry, they'll buy a new one on our dime. Yeah. You keep paying your personal property tax on your car and they'll get a new one.
waiting on the tow man. I've been here probably 15 minutes or so uh, before I started this live. And Corporal Arter had told me that the tow man was on his way. And this has been so it's been at least 20 minutes. I haven't seen a tow man yet. I can't wait to see who it is. Mm -hmm. There you go, so then they're still getting paid too. I mean even right now as we speak, Officer Best there and Officer Goodnight. Corporal, whatever his name is, so I don't even bother to look at it. They're just getting paid, so the base rate, the lowest price is like $27 an hour for these folks. So we got three of them sitting here, so we're talking over $75 an hour. $81 an hour. And we got a whole vehicle that we know is out of service now. It's done crust the oil pan. And then we got two cruisers sitting here that are out of service in the area because they got to sit here and wait for the tow man to come clean the mess up. But hey, that's what you get when you pay the best money you can for the best men and women of the city of Newport News. Oh, look at this guy's going to over and try and fix it. This ought to be great. Don't help them. I'm harassing them. They just drove like an $80,000 truck off your curb. Harassment is the least of the problems here today. Nobody wants to help. Isn't it sad that three people getting paid at least $27 an hour can't help themselves? Look, he's going to fix it for you, officer. Good night. He said he's tired of people, me harassing y'all. He's trying to help. He was defending y'all. Yeah. I tried to tell him. You guys got it under control. Blessed are the peacemakers. Look, oh, it looks as if you got it right on his arm. I guess we'll never be going to pay less tires since we know he likes not only lick the boots but jack the trucks. I appreciate you trying, though. Well, that's what we did for the last guy. Another one drove off of it. We tried to do that, but since it's a city vehicle, they're going to have to see you back to come to it. That way, that way, we feel liable to you. Other than that, your personal property taxes and your business taxes and everything else you pay, that's going to replace Officer Bet's vehicle that he broke. No, it's no liability to you. Don't you worry about it. They'll just buy yourself themselves a new one on your dime. You better be careful though now that his hackles are up over here to pay less tires. He's probably going to tell me I can't be on the property, the private property. I'll be trespassing. Senator, so, do you see why society laughs when you guys say you do a thankless job? That guy literally said, as soon as I walked over there, he was so tired of people coming over here harassing y'all. They came to defend you because you're too stupid to watch where you're driving and drove right off a fucking embankment. And that guy wants to help you because he thinks that you're the one that fucking made in distress. Are you fucking kidding me? You people are retarded. And I know that word's offensive to you, but there is no other words to describe it. This is retarded. It's retarded that a grown man Growing his little police beard, wearing his little police vest, 
drove his little police car off the fucking concrete curb because he ain't paying a fuck attention. All them goddamn devices and shit, what he get? A call all of a sudden? He just drove off the thing and then somebody's tired of me harassing the police. People just harassing the police all this fucking time. He gotta come out and try and help because the police aren't smart enough to figure out how to fucking jack your own vehicle off the curb if that was the fucking proper procedure. They're just sitting around and waiting on the fucking tow man. They're waiting on cousins. He done said it. And now they're over there. Uh-oh. Are you gonna tell me to get off the property? I bet you good night told me I gotta go, go get on the sidewalk. Five dollars says. Yes, sir? Yeah. This is my shop. <laughs> look guys, look at guy. Yeah, I'm going on the sidewalk. Alright, we're going, go. Hey, fuck off, boot licking fuck. You guys went all the way over there to say, you know, you can tell him you can get off his private property, and if he doesn't do it, we'll arrest him for trespassing. Is that what you told him? That's what he told you? I'm going. Fuck off, you boot licking fuck. You a fucking lackey. And there you go. That's the society we live in. Oh, they're harassing the police. Harassing the men with... Look, there's three fucking guns here. Three sets of handcuffs at least. Three tasers. Three bulletproof vests. And there's three vehicles, but only two of them are fucking running because these dumb motherfuckers drove off a fucking curb. And now that goofy motherfucker right there says you need to get on the fucking sidewalk because you're on my property. Everybody's just harassing the police. So everybody knows we'll have to tag pay less tires here in beautiful Newport News. Tell them, unless you like licking boots, don't go there. Because that motherfucker will deep throat the whole fucking thing. So you see now, relegated to the public sidewalk so we don't harass Officer Goodnight and Officer Betts who went all the way over to the fucking Cooter. Cooter over there came on out because he was tired of society harassing the dang old police. And now they went over there and said, you know, you can tell him to stay off of your property if you want to. If he doesn't leave, it's trespassing. Yeah, Newport News, Virginia. And there you go, that's the kind of fucking bootlicking society we live in. And it's really bad here, not only in Virginia as a commonwealth out in the whole, but Newport News, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, we call it the Tidewater, Hamp Roads area for those not familiar. Because of the concentration of the military here, there are so many people that are used to fucking giving and taking orders that they think everybody else is that, that free society they purportedly protect. They're supposed to just fucking do whatever the fuck they tell them whenever they fucking feel like it. Come on, brother, you gonna hang out with that fucking dude? And he's like, oh, I love the police. I bet, you're, I bet you your father and your grandfather be upset about the way fucking police act still. And then people fall all over them fucking selves to come out here and fillet them in public. I'm harassing them. All sorts of harassment. He feels harassed. Officer Betts feels harassed. Fucking Cooter says, you stay off my dang land. I love the police and you are not allowed to harass them from my properties. Well, considering that he can't impede the public right away, part of this apron that belongs to Cooter is the sidewalk. And then since the sidewalk is blocked, we'll have to dangerously walk around this vehicle that appears to have become stuck on a concrete embankment. It is leaking copious amounts of petroleum products all into our storms, storm sewers and waterways. Plus the man from the cousins can get over here quick with the official kitty litters. So for any of y'all that are joining us now, we are in Newport News, Virginia, corner of Warwick Boulevard and Mintzville Road, on the corner with the Boot lick and pay less tires and cooter in the Mensville Food Mart where you can get your finest vapes and bitcoins and even take the EBT. And Newport News police officer, Officer Betts, 
He's the one standing over at the back of the truck he hasn't wrecked today. Now, Officer Goodnight, sitting here waiting on this tow man, Corporal something or others in the other truck. Hold on, let's see what they're saying. Just sitting here. See Cooter furiously working away. He's Mr. Legal Beagle that wants to support the police from the harassments. Then every dollar he's earning right now, he's supposed to be giving up like 10, 15 percent of that shit to the government for the privilege of fucking owning a business and changing people's fuck tires all day. And that's what's going to buy the repairs to this vehicle here. That officer bets seated drove off the side of the embankment at Payless Tires. What the hell is he doing with Payless Tires anyways? We're going to have to look in the logs and see if there is a call for service. And then, of course, there's Officer Goodnight, who we've had an interaction with before. He decided he was going to be a smart ass to me and tell me that I could walk on over and look at his name tag. Well, look, now I walked right up on that shit and you didn't do nothing today, did you? With his misappropriated fucking biblical quote tattooed on himself. Blessed are the peacemakers. Corporal what's his name told me there's no sergeant on duty today, so Corporal whoever he is, I had to go back and look at the video, I done stood over there and talked to him forever and I have no idea who he is, don't really care. I know you guys like to know their names though. Tow man got to assess the situation.
Cousins Towing, Hampton, Newport News, in Yorktown. You can call them at 874-1230. It's good enough for Newport News Police Department. It's good enough for you if you drive off the curb like that. You see, we still got Officer Good Night. More like Officer Bad Day. Just hanging out, getting paid. I know if we was out doing our piece of shit job because we can't get anything better delivery and drove my truck off the curb and broke the oil pan, nobody would be coming to rescue me for free. getting closer and closer to our storm drains. taking forever and it's costing us all. Wonder what the contract with Cousins Towing Guy is worth. I agree, Susan. Oh man, seems to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Not gonna be as simple a job as he thought. Yep, yeah, honestly, the uncrustable pain is stuck up in there. Oh. Watch, they're gonna make sure that they stand up on the property. Drinking today? Doing any drugs? Are you distracted by one of your devices? See, they got nice, expensive Goodyear Eagle tires, like some fucking NASCARs. All on your dime, y'all. Take it out of your paycheck, they take it out of the money you got left over that you spend your paycheck on.
His cousin's the preferred preferred service provider for Newport News fuck ups. I don't know. Oh. You get a lot of them for Newport News fuck ups. I ain't been with the company very long, so oh. I honestly couldn't tell you. Oh. And the picture I just snapped, don't worry, I ain't get your face. Oh, I don't care. You put you put wherever you want, friend. We're live right now. See the oil getting closer and closer to the drain over there. Oh, it made it. We officially have petroleum products right in our storm runoff. Thanks to the incompetence of Corp of Officer Betts. As he motored around willy-nilly today in vehicle number 5631 and drove him off of the curb at bootleg and pay less tires. Well, you can come on down and we'll jack the police up for you. They don't want that dang harassment of the police around here. That is what's wrong with society today. Oh shit, AIDS. One of several diseases that adequately describe police. Scurvy would be another one. Gonorrhea. Let's get them damn AIDS over here. Can you believe this? She's waving. She's not. All right, now we're gonna to have to get into action. And block off the traffic so the tow man and retrieve this vehicle. Watch the skill, the deafness, the precision with which this poor unfortunate vehicle is plucked from the evil concrete barrier. Gonna have to wait on the bus. And here we go, we'll start the idiot parade. go around and do some police maneuvers. Official police maneuvers. Man, I don't crash that thing trying to rescue them. So now we officially fully impede traffic. Those poor people over there making a left turn are like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? But I'm going right there. No, you're not. The police fucked up. Cost us all a bunch of money and time. Now we get the action scenes. Here we go. And this is about 90% of police work anyways is fucking after the fact that some bullshit happens. Where was all the traffic safety officers I hear? Let Officer Betts know not to drive off the fucking curb. Now, let's watch this here. Officer Betts has got to go to traffic duties now.
Look at that, like it's nothing. Bravo, tow man, bravo. Got more done in 10 minutes he's been here than the rest of them got in the 30 minutes we know about. So I think it's interesting to note uh, for those joining us, uh, Corporal still sitting in his car here. Uh, he told me there's no sergeant on duty today. So I guess they don't have enough sergeants to have somebody on a Tuesday afternoon, but isn't it weird that all I can see, see all these police officers, they got plenty of time to work at the mall, mall security. But they're always talking about how they're short staffed and burned out. I can't, can't, don't have anybody to promote the sergeant, I guess. All sergeants get Tuesdays off. It's part of the perks package. End of it amongst his buddies now. And he got McVeigh. Thanks to my eyes and ears on the streets. And that's how you guys can all help when you guys are like, oh, I would love to do something, but what do I do? If you see something, you send it to somebody else if you can't do something with it. Propagation is also a good thing. Getting information out to somebody else who can get it out to more people is the best thing ever. Somebody sent me a picture they took as they noticed this incident in progress and uh, alerted me and I just so happened to be available and nearby and was able to make it here in plenty of time because we've been on live now for 33 minutes and I got at least 10-15 minutes of video before that. So we are in Newport News, Virginia at the corner of Minchville Road, Warwick Boulevard. Officer Betts over there on the other side of the street has driven vehicle 5631 off of the concrete curb that's about 18 inches oh going to drag that back in that's gonna be a little extra damage that's gonna be a little extra damage i mean i ain't no tow man but i would have lifted that bed down a little up a little bit more so when he dragged it it was over that but Good enough for Newport News Police Department. Dozens towing for all your systemary needs. Uh, and we're at the corner, like I said, and here's a Payless Tires where Cooter will be more than happy to come out and assist the police in any way he can, because that is what society needs more, is uh, people helping the people that murder people in their own homes, beat people on the side of the streets, kill them on the side of the streets. And they need help because they drove off the fucking curb like a dumbass looking at his fucking phone or something. I mean, because now that it's off there, you can see. So we have to assume he was in the Payless Tire parking lot and he was coming this direction. But how the fuck do you turn that soon that he would have thought that was a good idea? We'll have to go back and look at the tape for the angle, but... He was coming straight out of the parking lot. He fucked up anyway because he went over the grass. He made a right turn into this area and somehow, I don't know. I can't wait to not hear about the internal affairs conclusion. Yeah, I would guess playing on his phone. That's my, my guess. He got a bat signal. Somebody sent him a funny meme. But 
He wasn't on the roadway, public roadways of the Commonwealth, so it wasn't a crime yet. And since they're not going to test him for drugs or alcohol today, then it's uh, not a crime. And they just had Cousins, man, he got this dang piece of shit off of there now. And now we'll survey the damage. They should make Officer Betts clean it up. See, at least there should be some skin in the game, like that Habitat for Humanity, where they make poor people work for their house. And motherfuckers like this ruin a bunch of money that they don't care about because somebody else will fucking pay for it. At least get some fucking sweat equity out of them. You guys should be out here cleaning up the fucking oil. Officer Betts, the rest of his shift, he should be standing out here with the kitty litter and the broom. He should be standing out here cleaning it up. So look at this mess. Look at this environmental disaster caused by recklessness and carelessness. Look at him. Getting oil up in our roadway or waterways. It's all over the public sidewalk. That's a slip hazard. Somebody was a slip and fall on that. You guys could owe them a lot of money that you wouldn't pay out of your own pockets. Look at the tow man, that's when he dragged the rear end off of there. And that's where he stopped. So there's his back tire marks. So yeah, he was driving right off the fucking grass. I don't. I mean, the angle of the tires, he is not directly perpendicular with the edge of the parking lot. He's angled towards the entrance. And he just drove right over the fucking grass and off the side of the fucking curb. There's just so two ways about it. So two fucking ways about it. And there you go. We were just talking yesterday about their take home vehicles, all provided courtesy of you and I in so many ways income taxes, sales taxes, personal property taxes, fees and licenses, and all kinds of other shit. All sorts of tribute to the government for your own good. And then you buy them a brand new all-wheel drive hybrid police interceptor SUV and they can't even get out of a fucking parking lot without driving off a fucking curb. Ridiculous. Oh, it looks a little red. I hope that ain't transmission oil. That's going to be far worse. Especially if he was spinning the tires, which is apparent since it's all mud and burnt up grass over here. Suck up some pebbles and shit in there. Little bits of concrete. All done. Like it never even happened. They just leave the fucking tow man here at his own devices. They got what they fucking wanted. Now Officer Betts will have to be uh, debriefed. Hopefully, him and uh, Officer Goodnight will be going to Dairy Queen, getting themselves a swirl cone. The corporal is going to go hide somewhere, do some paperwork, because he's the high man on the totem pole today. Since there are no sergeants on duty. Newport News on this Tuesday afternoon, the day after tax day. I guess we didn't pay enough taxes yesterday. We ain't got enough money to afford a sergeant. Got enough money to afford a chief that gets fucking fifty thousand dollars more a year than a fucking U.S. congressman. But hey, who's counting? Me. That's the official litter of Newport News Police Department's fuck ups. Oh my god, and the tow man almost just got ran over. Now that would have been quite the fucking video. The police was already here. You guys would have had something fucking to do. But look, you'll notice if that person had been hit by that vehicle, you would not have prevented that crime. You would not have been able to keep the victim safe. You would have been there after the fact to do paperwork. And there you go, scene of the crime. Ends in a pile of litter. But nothing can soak up your shame. If you have any, which I doubt. Yeah, yuck it up. Yuck it up. You get yourself ice cream cone out of it. So now you got the rest of the day off, hang on with your buddy. 
well, I guess I better get out of here before they tell the guy in the store that he's gonna fucking, he can have me kicked off the property if he wants, if he wants. Now that we brought the idea up to you, if you want to. Just let you know your options available. Oh, look sad to a man. He's like, oh, I wanted that one. Now look at this mess. Well, maybe that's Adolf. Well, so there you go. Uh, end result. There's Newport News going home on the flatbed. Hoping we're staying safe today. Pay less tires and cooter or is happy because the police have been saved. And now everybody can just get on with their day. Cousins Tone got some money. Officer Betts, Officer Goodnight, and Corporal whatever got it. Got fucking paid. The city shop guys are gonna get some fucking money while they inspect this next newest fuck up by NMPD. And uh, I guess that's the extent of the cleanup. Is he's just gonna throw some kitty litter on there and not wait for it to absorb and then clean it up or anything? Just so. It doesn't even really do anything. There's still oil all over the apron and the sidewalk. It'll just be mashed in with some clay particles. And it'll still just wash off into the storm sewer. There you go. 874-1230 for all your needs except for cleaning up the mess, actually. And they're off. So, like I said, we are here in Newport News, Virginia. Say again? Newport News police officer apparently drove off the curb over there and got his cruiser stuck on the corner of that embankment over there. Oh wow. Where are you guys put it I don't know. We've been trying to figure it out since we got here. And once they moved it and we could see his tire tracks. I mean he had to have been coming across the grass because both of his back tires are got marks up in the grass. Oh my god. And he got stuck on the oil pan or something because that's what's all over the sidewalk. And you see the extent of their, their job. The tow man came. And he's supposed to clean all that up and he came and dumped the stuff all over but now everybody left and that's just going to be there so that's just going to run off into the storm sewers anyways <laughs> but you know that's so yeah newport news uh, officer betts little young white guy with a beard he apparently drove off the curb and got it stuck and broke it and now i guess he's gonna get an ice cream cone to help his feelings you know because exactly. then he'll get a new truck you know and you'll pay for it <laughs> yeah. take care so anyways uh, Newport News, Virginia, corner of Warburg Boulevard and Mitchville Road. We are in the parking lot of Food Mart. Who doesn't complain about people filming the police and being on his property? Opposite, pay less tires. Recruiter does not want the harassment of the police to continue. He cannot stand the way society is today harassing the police when they draw off the curbs and get stuck on the embankment on his property. He just doesn't understand what the problem is. Sometimes cops do that, and you just need to go over there and help them out. And uh, so that's what happened. And now I can go home. So thanks everybody for joining. Uh, anybody that watches this afterwards, just happened to get a random message from somebody. Got some eyes here on the street. Do your part. See something, say something. If you can message somebody and let them know and spread it around, all the better. Do the same thing with this. Uh, this is the GBTY team, at least half of us, leaving. I feel like a boomer. Where the hell's the damn X? I can't see in the sun. Oh, it's under my camera. Yeah, I want to stop streaming. For God's sakes, why I click stop?